Oh, ring, ring. Hello? Ah, Mr. Battersbury. What seems to be the issue today? Yes, I can pencil you in, sure. Absolutely. Brain surgery. Yes, I suppose I could do that. Absolutely, yes. Very well, Mrs. Battersbury. I'll see you soon. Oh, bloody hell, there's always something if there isn't another thing, isn't there? Never mind, Mr. Battersbury, we shall do this brain surgery procedure in the dark with only a torchlight. <laughs> Don't worry, I am a professional, now let's get that skull cracked open. I seem to have misplaced my smashies. Oh, there it is. Okay, well, oh, bloody hell, I just... <laughs> I am a butterfingers today, aren't I? Never mind, you'll be fine. Come on, give me this. <clears throat> There we go. Sprinkle, dinkle, binkle, crack. He's dead. Nurse! Bring in another Mr. Battersbury. <laughs> knock, knock, knock. Is there anybody inside? <laughs> See, what are the tools of the trade I possess? Ooh, what is this? This could do the trick if I just lightly chisel away at your uh, little human dome. Oh, he's dead again, bugger. <laughs> now don't squirm, Mr. Battersbury. We don't want pieces of skull to get wedged into your brain and lose all of your secrets, do we? <laughs> no, no, no. When we are removed all of your top of your skull, we shall replace it with a nice, thin, but sturdy, robust layer of paper mache. So don't mind me, my little surgery hands. Just get right in there, pull the brain out. Come here, little brain. I'm slapping your brain, Mr. Battersbury. I'm slapping your brain. <laughs> A gentleman slaps brain. Not like that. It doesn't, it doesn't mean like, just get it out if I can. There we go. This is your new brain, Mr. Battersbury. Smell it. Is it divine? Gotta get it ready. For transference! Now, the delicate procedure, Mr. Battersbury, to snip snip the little bit, the little bit connecting your brain to the rest of you. I think I did it. Did I do it? I don't know if I did it. Oh, Mr. Battersbury, you are losing an incredible amount of liquid very, very quickly. And it's the important one. Never you mind, Mr. Battersbury. I have just the stuff. Green is go. There we go. Perfect. Put that down just in case you need it again, you naughty little scamp. Take the brain out, or just throw it on- that's fine. Look at the color difference, Mr. Battersbury. Isn't it magnificent? I tell you what, I shall put your brain in the jar. I'm growing a collection. Oopsie daddy. Brain juggling should be an Olympic sport, Mr. Battersbury. Place it in the jar. There you go. Put the lid on. Perfect and fill it with some orange burst. There you go, soon we'll have a cocktail. Now, your new brain, Mr. Battersbury. Just going to put that right in there. And it's a perfect brain surgery, Mr. Battersbury. Nurse, get me a promotion and much more money. I received a D grade for delectable, for delicious, for brilliant. Mm, mm, mm. This is the best yogurt I've ever had. Mm. <laughs> Delicious. I definitely deserve my break. Yes, I do. Now then, we have a busy schedule packed today in Dr. Rosenbottom's surgery. Very soon, we shall provide eye surgery. That means these things, which are most definitely eyes, shall be removed from a person's unhappy little face. And we shall replace them with shiny new eyes which will make them very, very happy indeed. It is my pleasure to be the person... Can't use the bloody pens, what's the point? Oh dear, Mr. Tenderfoot. You do look rather under the weather, don't you? If I can just remove your goggles. Can I remove your goggles? Is it possible to re If I slap him, his eyes change directions. Oh look, eyeballs in a pot. This is- oh, I'm spilling the eyeballs everywhere. Oh, pills! I don't feel any different. Wakey, wakey, Mr. Tenderfoot, you are on camera. <laughs> 
Somebody's got the wiggle eyes. Hello. <laughs> Hello, memories. Just have to make sure- What the bloody hell is happening? Oh dear, nurse! Mr. Tenderfoot has suffered some condition. God, his eyeball is flat. This is very important surgery now. Okay, that's um. There's a- <laughs> Okay, okay, <clears throat> okay, okay. Well, we use a laser- Laser quietens all noise, doesn't it? Oh, it does break the goggles, doesn't it? Oh, okay. Well, let's do that better. There we go, Mr. Tenderfoot, those naughty little goggles. We don't need them on, do we? Now let's remove those eyeballs. Do we have pinchy pinchies? Is this a nose hair trimmer? I don't know what that is even for. Ah, here we go, Mr. Tenderfoot. Uh-oh. Give me your eyes, Mr. Tenderfoot, and I shall show you a whole new world. Ooh, look, a black eye. Oh, it's an eight ball. Is this surgery going to go well? Eight. It says eight. <laughs> How do I bloody get his eyeball out? Here we go. A spoon. Now this is the same spoon I used to eat my yogurt this morning, but it's probably fine. Oh, yep, spoon did it. Okay, we used the spoon to get his eyeballs out. That's brilliant. Okay, now do I need to, is it just one eye? I'll get both of them out. The yogurt spoon is the surgeon's best friend. I had peach and a little bit of granola. Get his, okay, you don't want the other eyeball out. That's fine. I'll cut that eyeball straight away. I could use more precision tools, but I feel like I've got a big old saw here I want to use, so I'm going to use it. There we go. Oh, eyeball goes dropping, and you're losing a lot of blood. We've got the green. There we go. He's stabilized. Now I'll give you another eyeball, Mr. Tenderfoot. What kind of eyeball would you like? I've got a whole selection. They are like sweets. Oh, look, it's got a little uh, content face on it. I'll give you that one. Get that in there. There you go. Oh, that's beautiful. That's the uh, kind of the eyeballs that we like here, isn't it? Now, the job still is not done, so I assume I have to get the other eyeball out, too. If you wouldn't mind, just let me spooning that one out. That would be great. Now, hold still. If you don't want to cooperate with the spoon, maybe you'll talk to the spinny saw. Nope, there goes a lot more blood losing. Don't worry, green. Stabilization. Oh, ho, ho, ho. now that was close, Mr. Tenderfoot. We almost lost you. What about this? There you go, it's in there now. Okay, you're losing a little bit of blood. Stop moving it around, Mr. Tenderfoot. I'll just yank it out. There we go, that's a little bit more loose now, so maybe I can use the spoon. There we go, drop goes right. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, no. Oh, you've got hardly any blood, sir. Oh no, I stabbed him once. Oh, god damn it. Oh, that's infuriating. I just had to put one more ball in his socket. Well, Mr. Tenderfoot, it seems we ran out of time last time, did we not? But this time round, we're going to have a much more successful surgery, Mr. Tenderfoot. A much more successful surgery time. Why so fearful, Mr. Tenderfoot? <laughs> He's just my yogurt spoon. Would you rather I use my saw, Mr. Tenderfoot? Would you rather I use my saw? Boink, 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 boink. There we go. <laughs> You've looked better. Steady now, Mr. Tenderfoot. We're doing so good. There we are. Uh, stab you with this, probably. There we go. There we go. And replace your eyes with new balls. And we're going to be golden. Mwah, mwah. New balls, new luck, new life. There oh, bloody hell, I dropped it. It's fine. Perfect. Oh, we got an A! Oh, I am very good, Mr. Tenderfoot. I am very good indeed. Oh, no. This isn't my yogurt. This is strawberry. Where's my peach? Blast! I shan't sleep well tonight. Thanks for watching, and thanks to this month's Patreon producers for helping make this video possible. Danny Sorensen, Doodles Dante, Francis, Jackson Jokers, Looney Treklock, Bertimus, and Saracen1974.